Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and today we're going to be looking at this little sucker right here. Now, what is this? Well, why didn't you read the title? Yes, this is, for my money, the best gaming grip there is out there for the uh, sort of the full Nintendo Switch, as it were. The handheld mode, obviously. You know what? I better get the Switch because I've just realized it's in the dock over there. Monster Hunter. First of all, big thanks to Satisfy for sending this over. Yes, I got this for free, and it's not the only thing I got for free either, but I'll show you that in a minute. So let's crack this thing open and have a proper good look at it, eh? So I'm just gonna break the seal if I if 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 I can. There we go, that's more like it. Now Oh god, I've got to do more. Jesus Christ, what have they used on this mega tape? Come on. Come on. There we go. Finally got the sucker open, so let's have a look at this and hope that there's no more tape involved. There we go, that's what it looks like in here. By the way, this is the retail thing because, uh, well, I should have said this was a Kickstarter or an Indiegogo campaign, which is nowhere near as catchy. And uh, comes in its own plastic bag that will uh, be hell for headphone users. I should throw that over there and... Uh, don't tell me this is sealed as well. No, it isn't, thank Christ. All right. There we go. Now this is the uh, the case that uh, it. Uh, oh wow! It smells manufactured. Um, it just smells of rubber, basically. Um, yes, this is the case that it comes with. This is the elite bundle, which comes with this case and other things as well. Let's have a look. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a piece of paper telling us that we've got a warranty. We can flip this out, and there's the grip itself. And that's where your switch goes. Uh, let's pop that to one side down there. And uh, we've also got these, which are these little, uh, they're just uh, little sort of thumb caps that go on the control sticks as well, uh, if you want to do that. Um, we've also got a cable, which is uh, specifically designed to work with it, I'll show you how in a moment, and it's sort of angled, so it's USB-C to USB-A, so you can charge it uh, whilst it's standing up, if you fancy doing that. Um, and uh, that is about it. You've got the case itself, you've got a big pocket at the top, of course, room for your Switch game card, lots of Switch game cards, and your Switch obviously goes in there as well. Now, it is important, this case, because obviously, if you didn't know, this is wider than a Switch, so it won't fit in most Switch cases, which is a bit of a, a disadvantage, but kind of unavoidable with this kind of thing. So I'll just show you how it slips on. It's very easy, uh, although doing it at this angle might make it marginally more difficult. Let's do it upside down, because... There we go, and it just slips on just like that. Now, if you've been looking and you think, goodness, that looks a little bit odd, it looks a little bit lopsided. You're right, it is lopsided. The reason for that is basically so that it is a more comfortable grip, a more natural sort of shape for your hands to be in in order to use the buttons. But why is it asymmetrical? Well, apparently that works better. I don't know the science behind it. It's something to do with 35 degrees. I don't know. But let's try it out. Well, I say let's try it out. I've actually been using this for some time now, uh, maybe about a month, three weeks, something like that. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, uh, I just unboxed it. It was sealed, so it uh, doesn't work. Well, I'll show you for how I've been using it for about three weeks, because... <laughs> Yeah, he sent me one earlier as well. This is like a, a, a preview unit, he said. This isn't a review unit, although it is exactly the same as the final model. He just said, I'll send you one of these so you can have a go with it. So I've got two. But it's not just this one and this one that I got because he sent, obviously, the case that comes with the Elite bundle. The one he sent before also came with the Elite bundle, essentially. Slightly different, though. This is not the final product. And, and I've just got back from the post office. He sent another one. He just wouldn't stop. I don't know why, perhaps to show off that this is another retail unit, because you don't have to get the case. You can just get this by itself. But enough of looking at what I've been sent for free to potentially sway my journalistic intentions. How does it do? In all seriousness, and I formed this opinion long before I got sent their entire retail stock, it is really, really bloody good. It's just so comfortable to hold. It does feel a little bit odd, I'm not gonna lie, to begin with when you first pick it up because your hands are at different angles, it feels like. But 
I think maybe it's the way that the sticks are orientated. You know, you've got one higher up here and one lower here, but it just seems to work. And I really don't know how, and it's really weird. But I wasn't satisfied with just my opinion of it because at the end of the day, I've only got one size of hand. So I asked a number of other people, gave them a go with the grip and saw what they had to say. And I originally planned to film it and I forgot because I had a long day. First of all, I gave it to my fiance, who is a woman and therefore on average has smaller hands than me, a man. And actually she wasn't bowled over by it. She didn't find it. She felt that it was harder to reach certain buttons and things like that. So I think it is fairly safe to say that this is definitely one for people with bigger hands and not necessarily those with smaller hands. So do take that into consideration. However, when I gave it to my fellow large-handed friends, they all agreed that this is is pretty bloody lovely. At the end of the day, it's gonna come down to personal preference. If when you're using your Switch, ah, at the moment and you're just holding it like this, it feels a little bit small. The straight edges of the Joy-Con are a little bit sort of wonky and you can't really get comfortable with it like I can't. And I end up sort of gripping it with my uh, little fingers under here. Then um, this could be the one for you. You just slide it on like thus, as I've already shown and do. I really like the fact that it is nice and easy to get out of the grip because obviously you can't use the dock with this attached. It just doesn't work. I mean, if you had one of those extension cables that went into the dock, then I suppose it would, but I don't like those. I like the dock. So it's a bit of a shame that you can't just keep it on permanently. You have to take it off if you want to dock it. But to be honest, I can't really see a way around that unless you design something that could go around the dock somehow, but then it wouldn't have this nice rigid strong bit at the back, which actually I really like because it gives um, more support to actually holding the switch. And I feel like I can hold it in one hand very comfortably and do all that because I'm not putting stress on the, uh, the Joy-Con rails themselves, which is for me a big thing because I really like to take care of my electronics. The only other disadvantage is the fact that it won't fit in standard cases because it's so ruddy big. And again, you could argue that it being so big is a disadvantage. The the Elite case is not is not a small one. <laughs> it's uh, it's quite a large case. It means you can get quite a lot in there, of course, but at the same time, it's not a sort of it's not a small compact way to use your switch. Um, so do take that into account as well. But I'd say on the whole, um, I really like it. And so, you know, if if taking something slightly larger like this isn't an issue for me, I will more than happily pack this in. And to be honest, I kind of, I, I kind of become a little bit reliant on it. It's just so much more comfortable for me to use the controller with these extra bits of gubbins on there. It seems like a petty small thing, but it makes a big difference, at least to me. I can't speak for everyone, obviously, because everyone has different sized hands. And if you find using the Switch in handheld perfectly comfortable, then you probably don't need this. But if you're like me and you've got great big meat grippy things here, then uh, this could well be worth your time because it really has made playing handheld much more viable. I used to get cramp after about an hour. And with this, I don't. Also, you can, um, you can stand it up like like that, I'm, I'm gonna be careful, but you can stand it up like that. That's what those two chunky bits of foot at the bottom are for. And then you can, hang on, you can uh, charge it like this, because that will fit under there. That's why it's like that. The only other complaint I have, and it is again another minor one to be honest, is uh, these rubber caps that come with it, uh, just generally. It comes with the standard version and the elite version. Ah, uh, they are quite nice to feel and just generally to be on the thing. In fact, you know what? I'm the, the last one I used wasn't the final retail version, so I'm going to give these a quick go as well to see if they have the same issue. Get on there, you little sod. Yeah, the issue I had before is that annoyingly, when you've got these on because they're so chunky, they don't allow for full movement of the uh, of the control stick, meaning that you're missing out on a few, uh, you know, a few millimeters of movement, but. You know, it, 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 it's not for me. I'd much rather have the full movement of the, uh, of the uh, control stick than have this thing on top. It's nice and I do wish I could use them because they are nice and comfy, especially with the grip, you know, sort of combined. But uh, it's limiting movement and I just, can't, I just can't be having that. So I'm gonna use it with, 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 hang on. I wanted to do a nice flourish, but <laughs> it just sort of bounced off the top. That was, that was, that was pleasing. See if I can do it again. 
No. To summarize, for the whole kit and caboodle, for the whole thing, it really is, it's all about the grip. It's not about the uh, other stuff that you get. The case is pretty good, it's big, but it's very functional, and obviously it is uh, custom designed for this particular grip, as you can see from the insert, which is a big deal because obviously it's been designed for it, and so it sits in there very nicely, which obviously it won't do in most other cases if only for the fact that it's asymmetrical. The other things, like the little cable, I mean, it's good that it's there. I'm always a little bit wary about USB-C cables after um, hearing stuff about it frying machines, but I suppose if you just use it with a, a low-power wall uh, socket, then it should be absolutely fine. Um, everything else is... It's just, it's just the rubber nibs, which I've covered very recently, so we'll just say, not for me. I don't like restricted movement. But on the whole, you could say I'm very satisfied <laughs> with this on the whole. It does genuinely make handheld a lot more comfortable for me. And just, you know, sort of switching between the stick and the uh, the buttons feels a, le a little bit less like you're doing thumb gymnastics. So it does its job extremely, extremely well. So, um... That's good. If you want to learn more about any of these things, then make sure you check out the link in the description. Or there might be more than one. I don't know yet. Oh, and incidentally, if you're a little bit worried that any of this is going to go to waste, don't worry, I've got lots of Switch friends that uh, I tested this out on, and they seem to like it. So uh, they may get a little gift in the post, or more likely in person because that's cheaper. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you grab that subscribe button in a very comfortable and relaxing way, and be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. Oh. It's just so much more comfortable for me to use the control. I'll hold it that way, shall I?